Okay, we're going to make a simple ball rig. I'm going to create a sphere. I'm going to go in the keyboard entry and set my radius for 8 inches and hit create to make the sphere. I'm then going to move the sphere up a bit. So I'm going to go to the front view, zoom in so we can look at this, and click and drag the sphere up so it's on the grid plane. I want to set and freeze my transforms at this point, so I'm going to Alt right click and go to freeze transforms and click yes. Now when you Alt right click freeze transforms you get this notice and it basically tells you that if you have any constraints they're going to get broken and to um, click this button to reset your transforms to zero. So let's go and test this. We're going to move up. Alt right click transform to zero. Now we know it's working. So the other thing I want to do is right click go into my object parameters and I'm going to turn off this button show frozen in gray. And now we're going to make a new layer. So I'm going to click on my sphere. We're going to go to our create new layer. And we're going to name this Geo. And now if I lock that or freeze that, we can still see the color of the ball. I'm going to select the default layer. So we create objects on this layer and we're going to make our phones and controllers. So we're going to come up and just change our view to wireframe so we can see through the ball. I'm going to go underneath animation, bone tool, and then we're going to create a bone. I'm going to click at the base of the ball and then click left click at the top and then right click to end the operation. You'll see we get an end bone. To stop the bone creation operation, I'm going to click again on the bone tool. Now I'm going to hide the sphere so that we can just see the bones and if you don't like the taper you can right click to get rid of the taper I'm going to scroll down here and uncheck freeze length because we want a squashy ball and turn on squash and then we're done with the bone tool I'm going to make some um, control objects to move this around so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our helpers I'm going to go under point and we're going to make a couple point helpers I'm going to use my snaps, right click, make sure it says vertex, and then as I go over, turn it on, as I go over the vertex you'll see you get a little crosshair, and when I click I'll get my point helper right on that point. I want it to be a box, not a cross, and we have our bottom one so I'm just going to name it control underscore bot and then we're going to come up and do a top one. I'm going to name it control underscore top. And then we have our, our shapes. Now the next thing I'm going to do, we have to right click to end that operation. I'm going to turn off the snaps and I'm going to select everything that's visible. Alt, right click, freeze transform. Again the same warning and we want to freeze our transforms before we start linking things. So to link these, we're going to grab the first bone. I'm going to go into Animation, Constraints, Position Constraint, and click on Position Constraint, and we're going to constrain it to the bottom controller. I'm going to select the end bone, Animation, Constraint, Position Constraint, and we're going to constrain it to the top controller. And now we're going to get some weirdness when we go to move things. So if we go to move the bones, they're no longer attached. If we go to move, excuse me, undo, the controller, we're going to get a weird look, undo. So the next thing we have to do is a look at constraint. So I'm going to click on the first bone. We're going to go underneath animation, constraint, look at constraint, and then have it look at the top controller, we get a real long line for the look at constraint. All right, and we're going to keep initial offset. So now what we're going to do is select and move, and we'll see that we have that constraint working. Undo. So if I reveal the geometry for the ball, um, we have the ball and the bones are not attached to it. I'm just undoing. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to create one more controller 
and then uh, skin everything or we can do it skin first so I'm gonna go into perspective view I'm going to change my view to shade it just gonna zoom out a little bit so we can see this and I'm going to create menu we're going to create a circle so create shape circle and then with this I'm going to do a keyboard entry I know my radius is 8 so I'm going to do about 10 hit create and then I want this to be render renderable in the viewport so we're going to say enable in viewport I'm then going to move it up into the position that I want it with it selected alt right click freeze transform before we go and constrain it to anything and now we're going to constrain these two controllers to this sphere so we're going to do a parent child so I'm going to click on the child controller the top and then click on the child controller the bottom and put them both onto the main controller now when I go and again move one of these we get all the controllers moving with it so what we have to do now is skin it to the geo so I have the sphere we're gonna select the sphere we're gonna go up underneath the mod modifier list go to skin and we're going to in the skin modifier go down to bones add and from the list we're going to add the first bone that's the one inside the body of the ball we're going to click select and now when we go to move one of these controllers you'll see that the ball goes with us undo so the other thing we want is we don't want to accidentally select things like the bones so we're going to select the bones we're going to add a new layer and then we're going to um, freeze that layer so the only thing now I can select are the controllers so the controllers are up here in my default layer again I can make a new layer for controllers and now we can start to do our animation and not worry about grabbing the wrong items